Differences between Airbus A380 and Boeing 747 airplanes The Airbus A380 is the plane people think of when they imagine flying in luxury, from private flatbed suites to an up-in-the-air lounge. But it also requires special airport gates, strengthened runways to handle its million-pound takeoff weight, and plenty of kerosene for its four thirsty engines. We shall later look at the differences between Airbus A380 and Boeing 747. Despite the A380's challenges, some airlines are painstakingly pulling their aircraft out of storage to meet demand for long-range point-to-point flights. Here are five things to know about the Super Jumbo. The Airbus A380 and its design. The A380 was designed to be a game-changer in the aviation industry. Its revolutionary double-decker, wide-body design could hold more passengers than previous aircraft while using less fuel and making fewer noise emissions. It also incorporated advanced technologies that made it safer and more efficient than other jets. But despite its impressive size, the A380 had some serious drawbacks that ultimately brought it down. The aircraft's failure offers valuable lessons for engineers in all industries. One of the most important things to keep in mind when designing a product is flexibility. Engineers must be able to adapt their designs to changing market demands and conditions. The A380's inflexibility proved to be its downfall as it was unable to respond quickly to shifting airline demand. The Airbus A380's interior the Airbus A380's massive cabin offers airlines ample opportunity to create an inviting, luxurious flying environment. The plane's wide seats, thoughtful cabin lighting, and quietest cabin in the sky make it an ideal choice for a premium travel experience. From stylish first-class suites to eye-catching bars and business areas, there are plenty of ways for airlines to design an Airbus A380 interior that reflects their brand and delivers a comfortable flight. Mark Newson's design for the Cantus A380 was a dream commission. It offered him the chance to shape an artificial environment that shelters passengers from the extremities of traveling across continents, weather systems, and time zones at high speeds and altitudes. He used the A380's swooping wing profile and a palette of blues to evoke the ocean, with hints of beach and night sky. The A380's mood lighting is designed to resemble Hawaii-themed bulkheads, creating an intimate atmosphere while also complementing the aircraft's stunning paint job. The Airbus A380's engines. The Airbus A380 was designed to revolutionize long-haul travel by lowering the cost of flying and increasing passenger comfort. However, the aircraft is huge and requires immense amounts of fuel to fly. This is why it's important to understand how the A380's engines work. The A380's four engines are both one of the plane's distinguishing features and a drawback, as they require more fuel than twin-engine jets. The plane's engines are made by Rolls-Royce in the UK or Engine Alliance in the US, and they have a maximum thrust of 81,500 off. They are equipped with a two-spool high-bypass turbofan design, boltless architecture, and single annular combustor. To reduce fuel burn, the A380 was fitted with winglets. These small devices help to generate more lift and decrease drag, which can save airlines a significant amount of money in fuel costs. The A380's winglets are 3.5 meters wide upstream and 1.5 meters wide downwards, which gives the aircraft a large area of lift. The performance of Airbus A380. The Airbus A380 is one of the world's most efficient airliners in terms of fuel usage. Its engines are also quiet, making it a good choice for airports that have strict noise standards. Moreover, the aircraft is also highly environmentally friendly, with its carbon emissions amounting to only 75 grams per passenger kilometer. However, there are some challenges that the A380 faces, especially with its size. It is difficult to maneuver in tight spaces, and it requires a large amount of training for pilots. This can be costly for airlines, 
especially when compared to smaller planes such as the Boeing 787 and the A350. The Boeing 747 airplane. When the 747 rolled out of Boeing's Everett plant, it was an instant sensation. Its twin aisles, spiral staircase to the upper deck, and large passenger capacity were all innovations that radically changed air travel. It was also the first jumbo jet and transformed an industry, offering luxurious amenities and lengthy non-stop flights for many passengers. Its hump-shaped upper deck is an icon in popular culture. It is the first wide-body passenger plane. The Boeing 747 is an iconic aircraft that revolutionized air travel and cargo. It lowered seat mile costs and brought international flights to the masses, making the world significantly smaller. But this incredible accomplishment would not have been possible without the dedicated 50,000-strong workforce who designed and built the jumbo jet in just 29 months. This group of construction workers, mechanics, engineers, and secretaries included Joseph Joe Sutter, who earned the moniker Father of the 747. The development of the 747 began in 1968 as a strategic project that was supposed to fill Boeing's passenger offering until their supersonic plane program was ready. But the market scenario changed, and the company found itself in dire straits. The 747 was the only product that could help Boeing make it through this difficult period. It is the first double-deck plane. The Boeing 747 was the first double-deck plane, and its distinctive hump upper deck is one of the aircraft's most recognizable features. It can carry 416 passengers in three-class configuration or 524 seats in a two-class layout. It is also able to transport cargo up to a maximum of 660 pounds per square foot. It is currently in service with various airlines, and its jumbo design has helped it to become one of the most popular airliners in history. It is the first three-class plane. Boeing's iconic 747 plane has a long history and is one of the largest passenger jets ever built. It was the first to have a three-class cabin and was capable of carrying more than 600 passengers. It was also the first to have a raised cockpit and a rear cargo compartment. The Boeing 747 has been used on flights to over 100 destinations around the world. The jumbo jet is 63 feet 6 inches tall and can travel the distance of three FIFA football fields in one second. It is the first aircraft with an upper deck lounge. The Boeing 747 has become a beloved icon for generations of aviation enthusiasts. Its spacious cabins and luxurious amenities made it popular with premium passengers. It has also become a symbol of a bygone era of air travel, and its sleek design continues to inspire many new planes.